$59,500. What in the world? Hey guys, welcome to The Get Up. Today we're talking The Mole, Season 2. Episodes 4 and 5. Mm-hmm. Woo, holy moly. Yeah, man. Liking the show so far. Dude, I'm digging it, man. Like I said, I, I said on the last video, this is the first time I've watched The Mole, and, and you know, typically we do a lot of the Netflix love shows and stuff, so this is a nice change of pace, man. I'm yeah. really enjoying this. You know, and, uh, and hey, uh, speaking of which, you know, we appreciate all the new subscribers we've gotten, and for the rest of you, hey, hit that like and subscribe there. Yeah, and when are you going to be able to identify who the mole is? I know, right? It's getting it, well. I tell you what, man, it's getting uh, it's getting good here. So now I've definitely narrowed it down to two people, you know. And there was they they threw some stupid shit out there. Some Michael and some Ryan, man. They're both uh, acting very shitty at this point. All right, so we left off where everyone's at the fortune cookie table. That's right. Well, hold on now. Speaking of the mole, I think we're going to put a poll up so all you guys can kind of vote on who you think the mole is. In order to access the poll, it's better if you do hit like and subscribe because then it'll just pop up on your feed there, right? So. Yeah. So they're trying to root out who's got the money and who's got the exemptions. Mm-hmm. And they do a pretty good job here. Oh, they did, man. Yeah, it was good. Like, they they they, they nailed it except just one, man. I was like, yeah. damn. So they got rid of Ryan, Muna, Sean, Melissa. Yep. And, when it's like, it's like, and it's like I said on the last video, man. Anybody who came out very first and said, hey, I've got this amount of money, It'd have been like, bam, those people were good to go. And they and they did kind of follow that rule. They didn't say they did, but you know, it went that way, especially especially with freaking uh what's his name in the beginning? Uh Tony. Yeah. That dude, everybody's like, he's being shady, but this time they're like, you know what, I think we're gonna believe him. And luckily for them they did, and they got twenty grand out of it. Now so. you would think Melissa would be a standout on this competition mm-hmm. because she's a poker player, right? So she yeah. should know how to read people, know who's bluffing, who's not, know how yeah. to bluff. Oh yeah. And they call it and they and, and and I thought she did fine on this. Like, the way she was talking and stuff, I thought she did all right, man. But they sniffed her out. They sniffed her out and caught her out on it. And, uh, man, I was like, damn, man, yeah. that was good. So they, they struggled, though, when it was Deanna, Q, and Michael. See, this is where Deanna pissed me off again, right? Like, you're supposed to be this sleuth with all, you know, and you, but you've shown us none of that, you know, because, I mean, you know, he's you know Q's got that his mama chain, right? And he kissed it, and he was like, look, you know, I'm, I'm putting it on this. Right there, boom. So you guys know I'm not lying, which everybody else is like, okay, cool. We're going to give that to you, Q, except Deanna. No, she still wasn't buying it. And I was like, dude, come on, man. It ain't Q at this point. When Q did that, I was like, Q's scot-free. It ain't him. You know, it's Michael. And I was like, it's got to be Michael. And then Deanna still went with Q on it. And I was like, what the hell is this Yeah, doing? first off, Deanna's just playing too safe of a game. Oh, she yeah, gets no too emotional. She doesn't lie, really. So she's easy to read. So you kind of know it's not her. Yeah, now, and you mentioned this when we were watching this last couple videos. If she is the mole, then she's mm, playing a hell yeah. of a game. If she's the mole, <laughs> that would be she's fantastic. She's playing a hell of a game, right? But she's kind of playing the mole with the least path of resistance. You just play the game like it's supposed to, and it makes it hard for see you to know. Balls. So, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. But now, I, I mean, you say that about Q's necklace, but I could see him trying to do what's best for his mama and get that money and do some stuff. His mom would want him to have the money. So I'm not sold on the necklace thing like you are. I, yeah, obviously, so we man. know the results here, yeah. but like I wouldn't be sold on that alone. I mean, because you know, Nish came out and said, you know what, I'm, I swear on my mom and dad. Boom, yeah. everybody's okay. like, all right, cool, and, we believe that, right? And I believe him. Yeah. Now, but, <laughs> but then you had freaking uh, Sean come out, and he's like, well, I'm not swearing on anything. I'm just telling you that I've got 10 grand. Or whatever. He has so a terrible like, yeah, poker oh, dude, face horrible. to begin with. You know, and for a guy who says he was an undercover cop, you know, dude, your poker face sucks ass. And I was like, I don't buy it. You're an undercover cop. I think you know, he thinks he's better at lying than he, he actually is. is. Yeah, exactly. It was horrible. And everybody saw it. They're all like, dude, Sean's lying. We can now, Michael, I mean, Q was acting kind of strange. So I could see why people could suspect him. But Michael, he's smooth with his oh, lies. he is. Now, now, you know, I will say this about Sean, though. Sean has already shown us. That he does want people to think he's the mole. So maybe he was doing that lying face on purpose, you know, but I, I don't mean, know. even when he yeah. did that later, it it's yeah. it's not that great. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, and, and later on, you know, he did it so he'd get caught on purpose, and we'll talk about that. But yeah. So I mean, Michael, this is tough. And I mean, he did everything right, and he's the only one to get by with an exemption here. Yeah, that was smooth, so. man. That was smooth. And then we go to quiz time again. Mm-hmm. So, and this one kind of surprised me too. Who gets eliminated here? Oh, this here. is great. <laughs> so, this was great. And Melissa, the poker player, is gone. Yeah, it was crazy, man. I was like, wow, because she was on our list. 
You know, and so that, that I mean, knocks somebody off my list now. So I mean, now I've I got mean, to narrow down more. If you had a poker player like this person's used to lying to people, deceiving uh-huh. people, so this might make a good mole. And yeah, and, yeah. and then she was not the mole. Yeah, so that that really surprised me. Yeah, no, I was definitely surprised too, and, and especially for somebody who says, "Hey, I read people very well. You know, that's my job." You didn't read them well enough in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then we get to um, the point where they're offered to be able to watch a video oh, dude, of see, their choosing to gain some knowledge. Right. Now this, you know, we talked about this when we're watching it. This right here gives the mole a free opportunity to get rid of money. So is the mole allowed to do that at this point? Because if the mole wasn't allowed to do it, then we know Q's the mole, right? Yeah. Because Q is them. the only one. And right. now that would be kind of like, I think, unfair to have the mole be able to do this. But maybe they allow the mole to do yeah. this. Because this is easy, right? You could just, all right, there goes 5K. Yeah, you know, exactly. Easy, easy. Yeah, so I mean, it's free money for the mole to give away right. here, which you know, which. But at this point, I'm thinking the show does allow it because if not, then Q is the mole. Period. Right. So, you know, hopefully that would surprise me if he was the mole. So, yeah. but who knows? He's the odd one out here, though. Yeah, he the is. only one. Everyone else had the same plan. I need some information. Uh huh. Yeah, so, and, and they all chose the. I mean, out of everybody, well, three the group, people, three people got chose. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, three people choose Hannah. Mm-hmm. So she's a top suspect at this point. Yeah, which and, rightfully so. And three people choose Sean. Mm-hmm. And Sean was playing that route, though. He wanted that. So And Michael wants Sean, and he he's very surprised at what he learns. And I think so yeah. is Muna. Oh, yeah, because well, Michael was like, I know Sean's lying about his freaking day job. He's just saying he's a stay-at-home dad, which... Oh, he's not lying about that. He just, you know, didn't mention what he did before he, re- you know, did that. You know, he's, he's obviously probably, re- you know, retired. He's either retired or he just let the force. Yeah, the so other. they're like, that don't but, make sense. He's probably military, but I'm like, yeah. he could have been military, retired, and yeah. be a stay-at-home dad yeah, exactly. or whatever. Evidently, evidently, evidently he's got a freaking, uh, you know, grenade tattoos. So Sean's like, I think maybe he was a Marine sniper or something. You know, snipers don't use grenades, really, you know. But. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a sniper right. with no, a grenade. grenade. Like, you're going to see cross <laughs> rifles or something else, but, or uh, like exactly. a reticle thing or yeah. You know, crosshairs, whatever. But <laughs> I don't know what snipers have to do with grenades there, buddy. But, but he's somewhat on the right track, right? Exactly, right? Exactly. So, and I mean, I don't even know if Michael, I mean, he's kind of like, wait, is that too obvious? Undercover cop, the mole, that just seems too obvious. Yeah. But exactly. it still seems like that's his main but, suspect. And Yeah, it was Michael's main suspect. But at the same time, Sean's telling us on the camera, hey, I want people to think I'm the mole. That's great because I want people knocked out of this damn game, right? So yeah. Now, Tony, like, observes Hannah's because I think he's like, how much can I trust her? I'm kind of uh-huh. like, I guess, somewhat falling for this girl, but yeah. something's off. And then he's like, oh, her video played out exactly how she is right now. So, yeah, I think we're good. I think I can trust her. <laughs> yeah, so like, and I think Deanna I watched like, oh, Luna's man. and, like, what she said in there seems to line up with how she's playing the game if she was the mole. Uh, exactly. So I could go for that. Exactly, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Cause, so cause who, Muna, whose video Muna, would you Muna, need to Muna, see? Muna was kind of like excited, right, about it, you know, in the video. So honestly, I, I would probably watch Michael's. You know, I mean, the one that wasn't on my radar until this next episode was Ryan, and then it was like, man, I really ought to have been watching hers. Yeah, you know, but, if we knew what we know afterwards. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I'd have probably chose Michael. And then they have another challenge. This is like a guess who. Mm-hmm. Guess who's the cash donor. They got like a artist, pilot, and a doctor, right? Oh yeah. So they got to identify them, work together. Uh huh. Exactly. And this was kind of a cool competition. And, and they started out working great together, right? Everything seemed on par, on track, and then all of a sudden, Sean pulls a little switcheroo. <laughs> Sean <laughs> notices Michael's paying a lot of attention oh, to him, yeah. so he's like, "This is my chance to throw Michael off." Yeah. Make him think I'm the mole. Which, Make which, myself shady so he yeah. starts voting for Now, me. which was a smart play, but unfortunately it backfires because it turned out to be one of, the, one of the damn people that had the money. Yeah. So Sean was like, shit, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> But but it was a smart play for him to want to make Michael think he's a mole. But unfortunately, he just chose the wrong freaking person to do the switcheroo on. And this was cool. I like how they had to work together and and kind of identify people. But like yeah. some people weren't being very coy about what they were doing. Like some guys, like I think it was Niche, is like, oh, dude, uh, he, she's doing this, that, like, and the other. Dude, he's like upside down looking at. No, <laughs> was it? Yeah, was it your Niche or, or Q? One of those two was bending like looking like he was like in a face in her ass almost. Man, <laughs> so like, she's like, excuse me, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, doing, I wish man. the actors would have been more involved and made it a little bit more challenging. Right, yeah, exactly. But and I wonder if, like, some people could, like, order the food but not eat it and throw them off a little bit. Uh, but it didn't seem like there was really any, like, no, you had two funny options. business going and on. And it, you know, it wasn't even a meal. It was an appetizer, right? You had two different appetizers to choose from, right? You had the freaking little tiny chicken kebab or you had the freaking uh, the veggie uh, dumpling, right? So Yeah, so Sean does something shady. And you know, another person who does something shady is Ryan. This was freaking. And now the thing is, Sean did it on purpose. Yeah. Ryan? Ryan, I think, thought she could get away with it because they're all on different tables. So she just real quick says, oh, yeah, this person's got dumpling. 
when in reality they had chicken and and Hannah Hannah walks by and catches it. She's like, oh, that's bullshit. But now Hannah's, I'll give this to Hannah. She is smart keeping that shit to herself. Kept to herself. Yeah. And I was Here's the thing, though. If if you aren't the mole, you want people to be suspicious and see the devious things you're doing. If no, if you do something bad and no one sees it, you're not really throwing off other people's guesses. Right, exactly. So that is a very, very shady sh- thing that Ryan did. Absolutely, because she didn't think like anybody Sean's saw Sean's is it. obvious, and we know yeah. why he did his, but we don't really know why yeah. Ryan would do what she did. Now, it could be editing. Maybe Ryan, could did, be. Maybe Ryan did tell the camera, look, I did this shit on purpose, yada, 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 and of course, editing's not showing and us. And that sucks, that because up. that messes yeah. us up quite a bit with exactly. analysis, yeah. hiding stuff intentionally huh? from us yeah. that should have been known. But from what we saw, Ryan was doing it inconspicuously, trying not to get caught. Right, so... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, and, that and was you like, want like, oh, you want to appear like it's not forced, but mm-hmm. also and, you and, gotta and, have people know and, you're and doing. Honestly, that was like one of the better opportunities to do that, right? Especially as the waiters, you're just kind of going around looking at the tables, you know. So you can just say something real quick and hoping nobody's really catching it because everybody else is still looking at other tables, right? So if there's an opportunity to do it. That was a good opportunity. So kudos to Hannah yeah. for double checking and going back and looking at it and be like, whoa, hold on now. And normally, if you're trying to throw people off, you want people to at least know it's one of you four at the very least, right? right exactly. So maybe not pinpoint on you, maybe, but like at least know this group is responsible for messing oh, yeah. this up. Yeah, but exactly. this one, it almost seems like no one would know what happened here. So I don't no. know if this is not the mole, this ain't really a good move to sacrifice money for. No, yeah, exactly. But if it's the mole, it, it fits. Yeah. So Ryan, definitely, definitely at the top of my radar now. Her and Michael both up there. Yeah, so they only get one of the three people right, so mm-hmm. they don't do too well in this competition. No, and, and one of it is because of Sean, and one of it is because of Ryan. So. Yeah, they did, they did get a nice tea set and a nice little fish, though, out of it, you know? <laughs> so I like this. Um, you know, it's interesting. Oh, yeah. But well, and, well, then Michael made some comments, remember? Mike was like, oh, man, people are suspecting me, so I've got to kind of tone it down a little bit, maybe switch up my game. And we're like, huh? We're like, if you're not the mole... Then you want people to suspect you. Well, so this that was, is way later. That, yeah, but that, that, so that was a where it, it was. It was right around this time, I thought. No. Oh, either way. But anyway, Michael made that comment. So it was like, man, that's some shady shit to say right there, right? Unless you're the mole. So that that was like. So it, now it's kind of up in the air for me whether it's him or Ryan. Well, Michael at this point confronts Sean after this challenge, and he's mm. kind of like, I, I want to confront him to see what his reaction is. So he's like, Hey, I noticed you weren't wearing a ring, and then I saw your video, yeah. and he's like, Fire away, man! Ask yeah. a question. Yeah, so. and he did, and he answered him. He said, Look, here's why I'm not wearing my ring because when you're undercover, you don't want people knowing you got a family, right? So retribution. So he's like, Okay, he's like, No, you know, now I know. And he didn't make it sound like he was exactly hiding it. He's just like, No one's really asked me. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, as we said, he's like, I got nothing to hide. Nobody just asked me about it. So that was smart. That's kind of a smart angle for him to go at it, too. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so I don't know what this really does for Michael at this point. Like, like yeah, this would be a person that maybe you would select for this, but it's too obvious again. I don't know yeah. if you want to go with, like, an undercover cop. That's kind of what an undercover cop does, so I don't know if you'd want to do that. Right, exactly. But at this point, again, you know, his his lion sucks ass. Yeah, so. and if, if the mole was an undercover cop, that's something you should hide or deflect or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if they put that in the dossier like that. Maybe. Yeah, who knows? But it's quiz time again. Yep. Now, this one was hilarious, bro. Holy shit. Because, of course, you know, old freaking, uh, what's his name? And Tony's like, you know, he's, I mean, Hannah's got him wrapped around his around her finger, right? So he's believing everything she's feeding him. So he's like, oh, same, same, same page. You and I are on the same page. Where Hannah now has information about Ryan, and she flat out tells us, I'm not sharing it. Not yeah. even with Tony. Right? So. And it's interesting like how much could that have impacted Tony's answering, mm-hmm. if at all, and well, if that would have helped him or not? Because you got to think again. You know, he's the only dude with freaking red hair, right? Michael is. If you're choosing red hair, and Michael ain't the mole, then that's a huge strike on you right there. Yeah. You still got other people with similar similar colored hair. So if Tony's really focusing in on Michael at this point and not spreading out his stuff, then you know, if anybody is, it screws him, right? So yeah, yeah it it'd be him. interesting to know if Ryan is Hannah's number one at this point or not. Yeah. I think she probably is. And they don't really reveal that, so. No, they don't. But I think at this point she probably is. And, and the funny thing is, but I, and I'll say this, man. Hannah didn't. Well, and then, remember, Ryan calls out Hannah. Are you stunned because it's him? Or are you stunned because you knew something? And she's like, so are you upset that he's out? Or are you upset that maybe you got some information that Yeah, she don't? says that immediately. That yeah. And I thought that, that was, was a shady. little suspect. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe it is Ryan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I was like, because then it's like she's throwing shade at Hannah. You know, and and Ryan like, is kind of playing low 
to a certain extent. Yeah. So I mean, maybe she's the mole. Oh yeah, that's, man. I, I was I was getting the strong mole vibes on that one. And then and then, but right, but then when she said that, then Hannah starts the water work, starts crying, walks away, and it was like, okay, that was pretty smart of her at that point. You know, if it was fake, because at that point it makes it like, oh, I really did care about him. It sucks to see him go. Yada yada yada, whatever. And then Michael goes over the consoler and all that crap. But so Tony is gone. The he's out. The, the relationship on the, the show that, is that, that's over, hilarious, so. man. Yeah. I mean, I was glad to see that happen. I really was. Yeah, I, I mean, that was kind of distracting for me with those two. Mm-hmm. I mean, but, I mean, Tony seemed like a cool guy, though, at the same time, so. Yeah, he's a cool dude, but he was an idiot, so, you know, idiots ain't gonna last long. Yeah. So now we get to the next challenge, and they, they kind of identify, like, these are the three top suspects here. Yeah. And it's Muna, Michael, and Sean, not Ryan on yeah. this one, so. Uh, well, they say one out of these three is the top suspect, so they don't tell us if the other two were, like, a close But one second, of them definitely third. is the top suspect. Yeah, exactly. And they don't tell us if the other two were, like, anywhere near the top, right? So it could have been, like, the last person, you know, one of them could have been. We don't know. And they have to kind of put money in who they think is the real top suspect, uh-huh. and they get to discuss it amongst themselves. And they quickly rule out Sean. Right, exactly. But, We're, like, Michael's kind of saying that's his number one. Still. Yeah, exactly. But Michael's the only one saying that's number one, where a lot of people are saying their number one's Michael, but, hey, I'm going to choose Muna. So, yeah. <laughs> so everybody, damn near everybody else is lying here, right? So what happens? They start And that throwing. makes you wonder, too, like, if they really, it seems like Muna is the real number one suspect here, yeah. kind of by this. And it's like, People are getting further on the game thinking it's Muna, so... Mm-hmm. And when mm-hmm. in reality, they're thinking it's Michael, which I call it as like, dude, Michael's is going to be the one. And then they're stacking all this money, right? And then they find the doubler. And instead of putting it on Michael's to kind of equal out the two, right, to make it better, they put it on Muna's and double up on her. I'm like, that was just stupid. Well, I think uh, so Muna that at one dumb. point does, like, recognize we're putting too much yeah, in one basket did, yeah. here, so maybe we Move need to over. split them up. Yeah, but they totally should have put the doubler on Michael to kind of even both those out, and then they would have gotten a little more money. Right? I think they even so, throw a little scratch on Sean's just to be range. sure. Yeah, they put a 5 <laughs> Like, ah, we want something at the end of this. Yeah, exactly. So. But they screwed themselves by lying, right? They all lied to each other, and they screwed themselves out. You know, they doubled up when they shouldn't have, and they lost a lot of money on it. At them. this point, not many people are playing for the money, it looks like. No, they're all playing for the I mean, right yeah. I mean, no one's really trying to get money unless yeah. there's no option and it, advantage it, 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 otherwise. Now, the only one who seems like she's trying to get money, and she keeps, she keeps crying after every freaking one, Deanna. is Deanna, right? Deanna. Every time you see Deanna crying, and it's like... Man, she's she, taking things really yeah. personal. And it's like, if she's the mole, kudos to you, Deanna. <laughs> like, if you're the mole and you're playing it like that, great job. But otherwise, it's like, it's, it's a game. What the hell are you crying about, you know? So Maybe she's she's pulling it off. I don't know. Yeah. Got everyone fooled. Mm-hmm. But, uh, so they, they reveal the truck, and it's Michael's, Michael. right? Yeah, and I call and it And they too, put man. it all on Muna, so, again, they jacked and they this got, up. They got 19.5, yeah, on Michael, and they should have put the doubler on there. So Michael is the real top suspect. Yep, exactly. And Tony, but supposedly that was Tony's number one suspect. So what's going on here? Mm-hmm. Is it not Michael, the real one? No, the, no. So the the top suspect for Hannah was Michael, and she kept feeding that to Tony. And her and Tony are on the same page. Obviously, the Ryan shit changed her mind, and she went away from that. And Tony stayed with that. But if, and it's if true. Michael is everyone's top suspect and is keeping people around, yeah. It's working for some people. Yeah, that's true. It's working for some Absolutely. people. Absolutely, yeah. Which is kind of interesting because, like you said, he has some unique features, I guess, mm-hmm. compared to everybody else. Yeah, exactly. So that's but, that's interesting. Yeah, but the thing is, if Tony did go too hard on Michael, you know, because, you know, Hannah's feeding that shit, then maybe Michael's not the mole because he went out, right? Tony got it kicked out, so. But he was on you know, your radar initially. He, he's still so. on my radar, <laughs> right? Especially, after, you know, again, you know, because I, I guess it was after this one that he had that comment, that he said those comments like, you know, oh, you know, people really starting to think I'm the mole here after this, so I better start toning it down some. And it's like, huh? I know I need to go for one of these auction items, especially for having my name on the truck. Because, like, you want people to think you're the mole if you're not, if you're yeah, the mole. Yeah, that didn't you know, make if you're not, any if you're not sense the mole. whatsoever, yeah. so, and that's very, that very suspect. Shady. Yeah, so, I was like, what the hell? I don't know guy... why he would say yeah. that. Yeah, if you're not the mole, you want people to think you're the mole. Right. right. So, so, yeah, when he said that, I was like, huh? I don't know. Maybe he slipped up, yeah. but why? Uh, I'm surprised they wouldn't edit that out. So yeah, it was weird, man. It's tough. There's well, a lot yeah. of there's a lot of information to absorb yeah. here. Yeah. So well, and then Ryan. Oh, when the member on the truck thing too. When they're picking between freaking uh, Ryan made one comment at the very beginning when they're picking between Michael and Muna, and Ryan's like, I don't think it's either one of them. She flat out said that, and I was like, Huh? It was neither of them. Like, oh. If you didn't vote for Michael or Muna, your answer would be irrelevant. So, uh, again, that made me think Ryan's shitty. Because they're all talking, and they're like, oh, yeah, we think it's either Michael or Moon. And Ryan's like, nah, I don't think it's either one of them. 
And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, so that was even more shady when she said that. I was like, damn, she's the one who throws money on Sean. Of course, she didn't speak out after that about it, right? She's trying to keep a close hold a little bit, but she did make that little comment in there, and I was like, oh, man. Yeah, very interesting. Uh -huh. So now they have the auction. Apparently, there's too much money <laughs> that the team has, so they need to get rid of it. Another one of these things. Yeah, 59.5, man. So the first uh. auction thing for bid is the dossiers. Yeah, and they were smart on that one. That, yeah. That's not really an advantage. Yeah. They talk about yeah. that. So, yeah. I mean, someone could have thrown something light and got it, though. Maybe yeah, it would have been. Yeah, maybe. If, if, you, if you're going to pay next to nothing and get it, maybe it would have been worthwhile. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. So, but, but no one does. Um, but the next one now. Now, the second one, you get a correction. And, and that's money, right? Yeah, I would want this. I would definitely want Absolutely. this. Absolutely. If nobody else has bidding on it, you could have got that for 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. It been gold. And this you know? this gives you like one correct answer. So yeah. this is the one yep. I would have gone for because I you, chances are in the third box, everyone's talking about exemption. You know it's probably coming. So mm -hmm. I'd been like, oh, that would have been hard to get. But I want this correction. I could probably get it somewhat cheap. Exactly. And look at this. The way the freaking exemption turned out, right? The amount of money that went away with that. You might as well have taken the free. Yeah, it would have been free gonna, yeah, almost free. at this exactly. point because, like, exactly. they get to the exemption, and then Hannah's like, "We should, uh, we all want the kind of exemption, but let's keep, keep it low, low guys. Keep it like, low." So everybody's everybody's like, like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll keep it low." Absolutely. <laughs> and then someone does <laughs> oh, bid man. on. I mean, they don't reveal. Dude. I don't think how many people bid, but no. they said the Ari. highest bid is the whole, the whole entire Chibane. money. <laughs> And of course, Q freaks out, man. He's like, and then of course, and then it pans over Danny, who's crying again. Yeah, she's upset. Oh yeah. But dude, I love Q, man. Dude, that dude's just so animated and shit. And and, and you know, and Q, man, during the during the freaking uh, uh, truck one, man, he was giving me the Will Smith vibes, man. He had his, his hat mm -hmm. on, shit. I was like, oh, that's some Fresh Prince look right there, man. Now I wouldn't think that the mole could just bet the whole thing on this because that'd be kind of messed up. Yeah. Oh, that was crazy. That'd be really messed up. Yeah. So it's probably, I mean, who knows who it is right now? I they mean, didn't reveal that. Well, and that's the thing. Are they going to reveal who won it this time? I mean, you think they would have? I mean, they've I, always I, they probably before. at least do it to us. Right. Because, I mean, and they should, I mean, they've revealed to everybody else who gets the freaking the exemption before. So, and this, and this one, are they I don't know if they'll tell the players. Yeah, that's weird, man, if they don't. Because, you think I, they would I would have start to. to get upset if I was a player at this point. Because I'm oh, like, I'd be pissed. what the I'd, hell? I'd be right there at Q, man. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, tensions, like, everyone's cool when people do, like, devious things, but now I'd start to get irritated. I mean, you got to think about it, man. They probably lost over $100,000 now. Well, over 100000 You know, just, just out of stupidity and people just freaking throwing money away, right? So it's just like, it's crazy. I'm like, man. Well, someone's going to make it another week, though, or however long it goes on yeah. for. So, And this is kind of where it leaves us. Yeah. Left us off with freaking somebody betting a whole enchilada. And, All man. right. So who's the number one mole suspect? Oh, Ryan now. Ryan is, Ryan is, is doing, number one. Michael's doing shady stuff with yeah. that comment, though. Uh, I mean, I just don't see why anyone in the right mind would comment like that unless yeah. you were the mole. Exactly, yeah. But, you know, but we, why would but, they show that to but us? But we saw Tony make a stupid comment before, too, right? Yeah, you know, so. that's true. He did make a dumb comment. So, <laughs> and he was, it, you know, but, it was like not intentional. Yeah, 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 not intentional. But Ryan, yeah, I mean, uh, Michael, now that was just very, very weird. Like, I was like, what? I was yeah, like, and he, I think, is a little bit smarter than that, though. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, yeah, and, yeah, no and Tony's was just kind of like a twist of words, kind of like yeah, I could yeah, see totally someone actually saying something dumb like that accidentally. But that was like Michael's entire point is like, so uh -huh. I, I, he and he should know what he's doing at that point. If he's not the mole, yeah. he'd be like, this is great. But, People think it's me. Yeah. But Ryan's been very subtle, man. She's been very subtle mm -hmm. about it. Like, I don't think she thought she was going to get caught there. And then her just one little subtle comment, like, oh, I wouldn't go with either one of them, you know, and then that was all she said there. And I was like. You know, so you catch those little subtleties. It's like, man, that's some shady, shady shit going on right there. Now, we tried to look like, out man. for clues, like especially in mm -hmm. the dock, because sometimes they have clues to the mole's identity, yeah. like in the background or something like that. But Yes, I'm looking like at, on, on all the cargo <laughs> containers, man. I'm looking at the names and all that crap. And I, I, there was text a lot. I'm like, man, is one of these people from Texas? You know, but yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> 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 haven't been able to pick up on these clues, and we haven't been paying attention the whole entire time. But yeah, yeah Ryan and Michael... On the list, on my list. Now. Oh, totally. Do they, Splitting they, it amongst them they too. They're the, like Ryan's my number one. Michael's a close second. But again, if Tony went hard on Michael when he got kicked out, then I'm like, okay, that's that's kind of an indicator too, right? So it's kind of hard to. It's, it's just weird. Michael's weird right now. Yeah. You know. Who could be the sleeper mole? Deanna. Deanna what about Q. Deanna, Q could be the sleeper too. 
Yeah, Q could totally be a sleeper because he's like, oh, you idiots are losing all the money. And in her mind, he's like, yeah, these idiots are losing all the money. <laughs> so, dude, if Q's playing that game, man, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I, I would laugh my ass off if Q's the mole at the end. Now, I, you I would, would think it. the mole's like, oh, my God, this is a big deal. I don't want to be out. It's so you're going to, like, lay off, especially initially. Yeah. Yeah, and dude. you know Ryan was very quiet off the oh, jump she was, too. Man. I yeah, mean, she obviously was like the best in the paintball thing, but mm -hmm. she could have got wrapped up in that. And I want to lay low, try yeah. and do a good job here. And, and, and early on, it's good for me to make a name for myself and get this shot early on. That way I can be like, hey, paintball! I had one shot left. I hit that. Yeah, and she could so. ride that for a while. Exactly. See, so yeah, but yeah, no, man. Q, yeah, that's a good point. Q and Deanna, man, that's my two sleepers. <laughs> like those two, like they're playing. I mean, if they're the mole, man. They're playing it well. Yeah. So. But dude, that, that dude, that'd be hilarious if Q comes out being the mole and he's been this whole time he's been giving people <laughs> shit for making money. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see oh, that. I well, hope no, yeah, I hope it's some kind of surprise like that. Yeah, that and would it, be great. And we'll see if like I don't know, the mole's that good or not. Yeah, exactly. So Well, there you go, folks. Another two episodes down, man. I'm, I'm like this show, man, I am totally into, man. I can't wait till next Friday. Wait for these next episodes to drop. And uh, hey, you know, as always, you love doing this, guys. Uh, let us know who you think the mole is. Kind of give maybe you guys caught some stuff that we didn't when we were looking for clues. You know, hit us up with that. And as always, hit that like and subscribe, and we will check y'all in our next review.